ready to start his Rangers career. He's on the bench, but there are three changes from the team which put four goals past Rafe last week. Derek McInnes and Ali McCoyst are injured. Paul Gascoigne is suspended. In come Charlie Miller, Alec Cleland and Ian Durant. So Walter Smith will look to Miller and Durant to help Brian Laudrup in the job of creating the chances which Rangers haven't been slow in taking in the last few weeks. Hearts make two changes from the team which lost 2-1 to the other half of the old firm on Wednesday. Top scorer John Robertson has a slight hamstring strain and he'll start on the bench. Alan Lawrence takes his place. And Gary Mackay takes a break on the bench as well, which makes way for the return in defence of Dave McPherson. So it's a change of shape defensively for Hearts, with McPherson covering behind the youngsters McManus and Ritchie, and Italian Pasquale Bruno, the anchor man, in front of those three defenders. They'll look to the running power of Lawrence and Cahoon to stretch the Rangers' defence. Gordon Jury's in prime form with nine goals in his last seven games and 16 for the season. If he keeps on knocking them in, he could join McCoyst in the Scotland squad for Euro 96. It's nearly three months since Dave McPherson featured in the starting lineup, but after two games on the bench, he's back just days away from his 32nd birthday. And the referee is Bobby Orr from Kilbarkin. Rangers kick off, looking to make it 20 Premier matches unbeaten. And they've been in tremendous form of late, and they're starting well. Here's Alec Cleland, looking to link up with Brian Laudrup. The danger there was cut out by young McManus. Early threat from Rangers, they're not hanging about. Back from Miller to Laudrup, and offside. Island looking to make the cross from the byline, but he just strayed behind, behind that offside trap. There's Alan Lawrence in for John Robertson this afternoon, and his running will be important to the Hearts strike force. And he locked with the throw. Locke's been a big part of this Hearts revival this season. Free kick given against Richard Goff, not too happy about it. Foul on John Calhoun and Steve Fulton is coming across to take the free kick. Left footed in swinging. Breakdown in communication there, Dave McPherson was up but the free kick swung away on the breeze and no one with much chance of getting on the end of it. Well, it's been a, a long time since Andy Gorham lost a goal. You have to go back to the 25th of November. And long may that continue as far as he's concerned. That was Neil Poynton with the header. Couldn't quite direct it towards Calhoun, but John Calhoun is battling away. He's beaten Petrich. Alan Lawrence inside, Johnston making ground in the middle. Return pass, Calhoun again. It's cut back. Alan Johnston has scored. Seven minutes gone. And Hearts have shocked the Rangers' support with the opening goal. It's Alan Johnston. He's been in superb form. And the Rangers' defence won't be happy about this at all. It was sluggish stuff from Petrich. Calhoun got the second chance and his cut back tucked away by Johnston. Really, Rangers had opportunities to clear here, but John Calhoun was going to make them pay, and Johnston took the chance. They call him magic at Tyne Castle, and he's living up to it so far. Jim Jeffries will be happy with the Hearts start, especially with Gary Mackay and John Robertson on the bench. He's had to make changes. My drip to Gordon Jury. Forced to go back the way. Hearts getting behind the ball. Ferguson to Cleland. Ian Ferguson's made the forward run. It's well struck on the half volley. And it's well held. By Gio Russe. Good handling. Good play by Ferguson in the midfield. Took it on his chest. Half volley. Well collected. Gordon Jury was there. Ian 
Ferguson. A lot of play coming through him at the moment. He has been playing in the wide position for Rangers. Much more a central figure in the midfield today. Here's Lydrup. Lydrup against McManus. So he loses it. So difficult to tie down. There's a teasing cross. Gilles Rousset in command. But it was a useful cross. Lydrup dragging it back onto the right foot. And Rousset had to be mobile. Second chance for Lawrence. Fulton, that's a lovely first time ball for Cahoon. Alan Lawrence had to be a good tackle from Richard Goff. Just some fears among the Rangers supporters that there might be a penalty against their side there. Goff really had to make this challenge work, and he did. Well, he's looking quite calm, Archie Knox, but things not quite happening at the moment for Rangers. Rangers haven't been allowed to settle so far, and that's been the Hearts plan. And it's worked up to this moment. Charlie Miller crowded out by Alan Johnston, two of the young talents in the Scottish game. Nodded down by Goff from McLaren. Loudrop wants it and gets it. Ian Durant moving up front alongside Gordon Jury. Time to run for Loudrop and time to cross possibly for Cleland. It's a hanging ball at the far post. And alarmingly for the Hearts defence, Gordon Jury had a great chance at the far post. Nobody jumped with him. Meanwhile, on the counter-attack, this game being played at a furious pace. Alan Johnston, it was given away by McLaren. Racing in a goal is Lawrence. Struck it well, just a fraction too high. So in the space of 30 seconds, a chance at one end, and then Alan Lawrence's chance at the other. This was a great chance for Rangers, and Alec Cullen found some room to cross. And at the far post, Hearts will be alarmed at the amount of space that Gordon Jury found for this header, which was cleared off the line there by Dave McPherson. And then at the other end, immediately, Hearts broke downfield, Rangers gave it away, Alan Johnston put the pass through, and Alan Lawrence wasn't too far away with that shot. Ian Durant. Hearts getting back behind the ball very effectively, not allowing Rangers to dominate the midfield. Brian Loudrup back onto his left foot, now onto his right, teasing Paul Ritchie, the cross for Gordon Jury. Cut out by Gary Locke. The menace of Gordon Jury at the far post, picked up there by the Hearts defence, and it was Gary Locke who made the covering run and the covering header. David Murray's latest big money deal, bringing Peter Van Vossen to Ibrox, and we may well see him before this match is over. Lock for Cahoon. Johnston. Good passing play from Hearts. Patient stuff. And a great ball from Fulton. And Lawrence in behind Alan McLaren. Great save by Goran. So close to number two for Hearts. Yet again, the Rangers' defence carved open. And it had to be good positioning and a good stop from Gorham to foil Alan Lawrence there. Gordon Jury trying to bring the ball down, which he does effectively for Ferguson. Durant with Steve Fulton in behind him. Now Cleland. Chipped in by Ferguson. Another opportunity. Everyone for Hearts behind the ball, and they're away with it almost again. Calhoun couldn't quite link up with Lawrence. Rangers struggling to find a way to break down this Hearts setup. Loudrup looking for the return from Gordon Jury. Brian Loudrup must score. Saved by Rousset. Great positioning, saved with his legs. Looked as if Loudrup was about to equalise for Rangers. That's good goalkeeping. Ian Ferguson blocked by Bruno. Constant pressure from Rangers. In from Ian Durant. Nodded away by McManus. Rangers building again. Cleland taking his time, sizing up the cross. But Charlie Miller was never likely to trouble Rousset. Well, this was a, a real chance for Rangers. The 1-2 played 
by Lerdrup with Jury, and you'd put your money on him scoring here, but saved by the legs of the goalkeeper. Walter Smith frustrated, shouting instructions from the stand. So often Rangers have been forced to go backwards from a promising position. Here they come again with Durant this time. Brian Laudrup, return from Judy, cut out by McPherson. Judy again, Hart's claiming used an arm there. He is Gordon Judy! Struck it well, but just with a touch too much of the swerve, which took it away just as it looked as if it might be heading for the top corner. Hart's reckon he used an arm there, but the referee said play on when it came back to Judy. This wasn't too far away. And that is the final action of this first half. And it's been a good first half for Hearts. Alan Johnston scoring after seven minutes from John Cahoon's cutback with the Rangers defence in disarray. And really, you have to say, Hearts could have added to that goal. Rangers not quite themselves. They've never been allowed to settle and not too much happening for them in the way of creating chances. After 45 minutes, Rangers nil, Hearts won. At the start of the second half, this is Peter van Vossen, Rangers' latest signing. And Walter Smith badly wants an improvement in Rangers' performance in the second half. And Vossen has taken the place of Gordan Petrich, so Rangers having a reshuffle in their formation. Here's Fulton, though, for Hearts. Lovely ball in, cut out by McLaren. And Hearts starting the second half the way they finished the first. That really was a good, good break there, and that was a dangerous ball in from Fulton. They lost to Celtic during the week. They're hoping now they can hold on against Rangers. Goff picks out Laudrup. Alec Cleland on the outside. Laudrup heading in the way. Good run, but eventually running out of steam. And a mistake made there by the Hearts defence, which could have disastrous consequences for them. That's a pass back. And Rangers have a free kick. It was touched back by Steve Fulton. Well, Hearts might argue that that was a sliding tackle. David Robertson standing over the ball. He strikes it. Still not cleared. It is now. And Hearts survive. Steve Fulton hacking that ball away. That certainly was a pressure situation for them. Goff for Durant. Not a good pass. Well read by Johnston. And here's Alan Lawrence. He's got pace. Alec Cleland did a good covering job there. Lawrence got past Alan McLaren, but uh, he wasn't going to get past Alec Cleland. That was superb defending. He wins a round of applause from Andy Gorham. That was very well done indeed. So much of Rangers' play is going across the way, not making too much progress at the moment. Here's Robertson. Loudrup makes a run. Rangers not getting the room they want. It's quick tackling and good tackling like that, which is causing Rangers so many problems here. But they still have it. And that's a loose from Goff, cut out by points, and he'll take a return here from John Cahoon. And on the far side is Alan Lawrence. He's through the middle. What a great chance this is for Hearts. Lawrence, brilliantly saved. And John Cahoon misses the rebounds. Hearts may well rue that opportunity missed. Although you have to say as well, it was a brilliant piece of goalkeeping by Gorham. It was a quick breakout after Goff gave the ball away, point and delivered the quick pass through the middle for Alan Lawrence. He had the first chance. Gorham did brilliantly there, and John Cahoon might have hoped to have done better with that one. Big fight for Rangers. Here comes Ian Durant. It's Loudrup. They badly need some magic from him, the Rangers, there he is. 
Couldn't get the power behind the shot, not too much of a problem for Rusey. Where does that Laudrup run? The run better than the shot. Well, there's Alexei Mikhailichenko lumbering up on the touchline. Rangers may be ready to make another change. Forward from Poynton, Johnson through the middle! He's done it again! It's Johnston's second! And out of almost nothing, Hearts have struck. Blow number two. The Hearts fans jubilant. Their team is two up. It was played through by Neil Poynton. In behind Ian Ferguson was Alan Johnston. The Rangers defence lost them. And that was a superb finish. He's highly thought of, is Alan Johnston. And with that sort of cool finish, you can understand why. Grim faces on the Rangers bench. A team really being vastly outplayed at the moment. Well, they're calm now, but a couple of minutes ago, they were leaping high in the air off that Hearts bench. Peter Van Vossen. Rangers would love him to make a quick impact. There's Ian Ferguson! Natalie fast. That's what Rangers need. A bit more incisiveness. Lovely touch from Van Vossen. The run was good from Ferguson. And he was just off target. That's why Rangers have paid... Not so much paid big money for him, but offloaded two and a half million pounds worth of Oleg Selenko to bring in Peter Van Vossen. The pass was perfect. Ian Ferguson just off the mark. Here comes Cleland. Off Poynton for the throw. Loudrup. Alec Cleland's made a good run here for the byline. What can he do? Not a lot because it was charged down by Fulton. They really have put in a power of work of hearts. It was well seen by Laudrup. Couldn't quite squeeze the cutback through. Brian Laudrup with the corner. There's Richard Goff. Brilliantly tucked over by Russe. It looked as if it was going to dip under the crossbar. But the French goalkeeper very much on top of the situation. A free header, really, there for Richard Goff. Here's the new signing, Van Vossen. Mikhailachenko. Robertson in the wide position. Plenty in the box to aim at. And from Laudrup, cut out by McManus. Quality of crossing, not good so far from Rangers. Much better. That one found Mikhailachenko, though. Now Laudrup. Richard Goff there! Well, it looked for a moment as if Gilles Rossi was leaving it, but he certainly had to make a save as Richard Goff's header looked as if it might have sneaked in at that far post. Richard Goff was never giving this up, and the goalkeeper did well. What could Ian Ferguson do? Gordon Judy forced to come back looking for the ball. In recent times, he's been getting an excellent service and making the most of it too. There's Poynton through the middle. Alan Johnston, can he score his hat-trick? What a moment for the youngster. Johnston, he's done it! A superb finish from Alan Johnston. And Hart's victory over Rangers is surely now complete. The Hart's players celebrate... celebrations on the Hearts bench as well and Alan Johnston has a hat-trick he will long remember hooked forward from Poynton yet again Johnston eluding his marker bags of time he made the most of it he went round Gorham and he tucked it away well the Hearts fans won't mind seeing this one again but look at the room Johnston was given through the middle of that Rangers defence but look at the cool head as well here for a 22-year-old. The Rangers fans heading for the exits already. They've seen enough. Their team three down. Not 
knocked on by Goff. It was away from Dave McPherson. David Robertson. Charlie Miller missed the volley. Well won by Cleland, but it's back with Hart. Alan Lawrence looking as if he's toying with offside. That's why Steve Fulton held on to it there, but he still has it. Plays the pass through the middle now. It's Alan Johnson again. Can he make it four? Saved by Gorham. And Andy Gorham can see to the corner. Well, Alan Johnson might be given the freedom of Gorgi Road if he scores another one, but he was so close there. Through the middle. Charlie Miller made a good challenge on him from behind. And Andy Gorham got the touch. A second heart substitution. John Robertson is coming on. John Calhoun taking the applause of the Hearts fans as he comes off. All smiles. Hearts are happy. Poynton angling another ball towards Alan Lawrence. Free kick given for the challenge on the Rangers defender. Tackled by Locke on Mikhailochenko. Well, he could well be on oxygen by now, Alan Lawrence. He's done plenty running. Gordon Jury. Well, the spirit seems to have ebbed out of these Rangers players, and you can understand why. Not too long to go, and there are three down. There's a chance for them from the corner kick. Mikhailachenko, only as far as Peter Van Vossen. Struck it well, but not quite on target. Well, there'll surely be happier days to come for Rangers' new signing. And he's certainly connected with that. This has been a real tactical success for Hearts. They've got it absolutely right. Dave McPherson, what a big figure he's been in so many ways for Hearts this afternoon. Lawrence against Goff, tidied up by Cleland. There's a stunned silence among the Rangers supporters who are left. They can't quite believe that this has happened. Loudrup against Ritchie, and uh, not for the first time this afternoon, it's the Hearts man who wins. There can't be too much more. Loudrup's corner kick, there's Richard Goff underneath it. And that's full time, the Hearts players celebrate a famous victory at Ibrox. At the end of a long 19-match unbeaten run in the league, the management team of Jeffries and Brown have masterminded a tremendous hard success. Alan Johnston is the hat-trick hero. He'll remember this day for the rest of his football life. One in the first half, two in the second half. Rangers are beaten, and the Hearts fans are absolutely delighted with the 90 minutes they've seen. Final score, Rangers nil, Hearts three. Well, it was a smashing performance and a great result, great result for the club and the supporters have waited a long time for to get a performance here and uh, they got it in style today.